The topics of the Leistritz Compounding Workshop, which took place in Nuremberg on November 8th and 9th, 2017, were trend-setting and in tune with the current plastics compounding subjects. This could be the summary of the international participants who witnessed a proven concept, which had the motto, Make the Compounding X Experience. As always, there were interesting lectures of renowned experts and live demonstrations in the Technical Center. Not only were topics like cable compounding, EPS extrusion, or engineering compounds on the agenda, but Leistritz also showed the participants the company's history. After all, Leistritz is celebrating their 80th anniversary. Consequently, a look back into history was compulsory, just as well as a glimpse into the future with mega trends, which will be keeping the world of plastics busy in the upcoming years. With presentations on smart engineering, smart sensors, and smart services, the picture was sketched out and allowed a look into the future. The start was made by two presentations on compounding of cable formulations. Dennis Labby, a long-term expert in this field, demonstrated the production of semiconductive applications in the high voltage sector. These compounds are used in the shielding of cables and have an important protective function. Despite additives such as antioxidants, peroxides, and scorch retarders, the formulation is mostly made up of conductive furnace black and polyolefines, or rubbers. The compound was produced on a ZSE 27 Max with a 48 L over D processing unit. The most important process task is the homogeneous incorporation of carbon black for optimum percolation. With this, a good conductibility is ensured. The smoothness of the material also plays a very important role. This is facilitated by a well-balanced ratio of dispersive and distributive mixing effect of the screw. The conductive carbon black was fed into the extruder via two side feeders and was 35 to 40 weight percentage. The downstream of the melt pump and the underwater pelletizer is state of the art. The second formulation dealt with the cable sheathing and thus primarily with the high flame retardancy of the cable. The standard procedure in this is using ATH. Over 60% of this quite hard to process flame retardant additive is added to the cable compound. As an alternative to this, the use of hydromagnesite huntite or HMH as mineral flame retardant was introduced during the workshop. This offers various important advantages. High thermal process stability, more diverse formulations, as it can also be combined with other polymers than EVA, better synergistic flame retardant properties, and, at the same time, very economically efficient. LKAB, as supplier of this exciting material, also presented it during the life demonstration in the Leistrix lab. A ZSE 50 Max with 48L over D processing link was used for compounding the material. Two topics have to be highlighted. The first one is a well-adapted dosing system which feeds the matrix polymer EVA and additives such as compatibilizers, stabilizers, etc. through the main feed port into the process. The second are the two side feeders. They are used to incorporate more than 60% of the flame retardant HMH, which has a low bulk density. The well-determined guidance of the airflow through the process is another important key to a stable process. Pressure buildup is done via a melt pump, which together with the underwater pelletizer ensures good product quality. But as always, after business comes pleasure. The locations Leistrich finds for their evening events are somewhat legendary. This time, the motto of the evening was fire and ice. In the Nuremberg Ice Arena, the day was finished with good music, tasty food, talks about the presentations, trials in the lab, and vivid networking. The highlight of the evening was an ice show combined with fire juggling and fun-packed Bavarian curling. The participants obviously enjoyed themselves a lot. If you also would like to participate in the future, send us an email or take a look at our website. We will keep you posted.